Are you looking to utilize Zoom for your next virtual event and you wanna make sure that you're showing one person on the screen at the time, but you have multiple presenters? Well, I got this question from somebody in my comments on a video that was all about how it was a church service and they wanted to spotlight the priest in addition to some readers and other presenters, but not have them all spotlight at once, but doing it one at a time. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that in Zoom and let you know some of the common pitfalls that I feel like people think about when spotlighting multiple people. Before I get into it, I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and this is another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning, running your own business, event production, a lot of things about Zoom. If you also like more free content, I am the co-host of the Better Events podcast. You can give it a listen wherever you listen to podcasts. It's hosted by the lovely uh, Mary Davidson, another planner, and myself, and we have guests on there. We're talking about some really exciting things also about Zoom on the podcast in the coming weeks, so give it a listen. But without further ado, let's get back into the spotlighting. Here I am in Zoom, and one of the nuances with spotlighting, unfortunately, as an organizer or if you're a producer just practicing this, you are not going to see the option to spotlight without three people in the room. So you can see I'm in here three times. I have my phone. I also have a tablet in here. And that's kind of my hack for getting to practice this because you will not see that control until you have three people in the room, I promise you. So one of the things, the ways I like to spotlight is I'd like to go from the participant list. So let's say I'm in Zoom, just open it. I would then click participants. And then from there you can go, you toggle over their camera and then you can spotlight for everyone. Um, so it's gonna ask me to remove my pins. So spotlighting is for everyone as I've had other videos. You can go back and check. Um, Anytime you can have up to, you can add to spotlight. I can have up to nine people in spotlight. So this is a little inception, high, 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 all my camera angles. So if you were to do like this example where there was a priest and there was some one speaker on stage, you're gonna move everybody from spotlight. So you just see I'm the presenter on stage. Now say I want to hand it off to our reader or our next presenter. So I, as the producer, would toggle over. I can, again, can do it from the participant list, can do it from up top where I see everybody with the three dots. You're gonna see two options. One, add to spotlight. Two, replace spotlight. Add spotlight will add me to the spotlight, so now I have two people spotlit. Replace is, I love the analogy of Indiana Jones, it's where you're replacing the spotlight. So you wanna hit replace, and it will automatically swap me between speakers. So this is a great feature whenever you have one speaker after another and you wanna quickly replace. You do have the option if you accidentally hit add, so now I've been added, but then you would need to remove the other person. One more trick I wanna show you with multiple spotlights and replacing is let's say I have two speakers on screen, we're having a little fireside chat, and now I wanna hand it over to my closing speaker. Now you have the options that you can either add that third speaker to spotlight, now you'd have three people on screen, or you can replace, which I love. One click and I get rid of two speakers and I add one person. So hypothetically, what would take three clicks if I was doing it via add spotlight, now only takes one. So again, you wanna see the replace spotlight option. So spotlighting also, just a quick refresher tip, spotlighting shows it for everyone. Pinning, if I were to pin someone, I'd have to remove these spotlights. But let's say I wanna pin somebody I've only now in affected my personal view. And the way you know this is you can see there's a green outline around this box. So everybody else is seeing that person as my speaker, but on my personal screen, I have pinned this camera angle of myself, but it's only affecting my personal view, not the attendees. What you really want is to spotlight for everybody. Now, one of the things I do want to show you is let's just say one of my versions of me leaves. Now I only have two people in this meeting. You can see on the participant list, two people. Then I go up here, up, oh, no longer see the option to spotlight. So you really wanna make sure you need to have at least three people in your meeting. It's really hard, especially for practicing this. Uh, you can have multiple devices in, totally fine, and it helps you practice. So that's how you can replace people with spotlight at your next Zoom meeting. And that brings me to an end of my tips and tricks when it comes to event planning and running your own business. I'm Logan Clements, a freelance event producer, and I appreciate you joining me this week and stay tuned for more videos dropping every single Monday.